Yo, what's up everyone? So, this is a rare celestial secret episode. We're focusing on Mr. Negative today. I've had a ascended Mr. Negative for a very long time. He was actually one of my first ascensions. And I used to love the character. I ascended him for the safeguard meta. And he was great for that. But Mr. Negative does have a lot of problems. Like, for example, if your opponent runs unfazed. They're just going to go unstoppable when you try to evade and hit you in the face. Or sometimes the AI goes so passive that it won't even attack into your heavy and it won't let you evade. So you get hit in the face. But whilst I was yapping, that was a rank 3 onslaught in 30 seconds, which is kind of ridiculous. My point being, I normally don't use Mr. Negative anymore. But this meta, he is insane. And the best way to play him is kind of like Quake. You want to get yourself in the corner. And if you repeatedly dex in the corner, you'll gain loads of passive furies. These passive furies will make your basic attacks and even your evade do so much damage. The reason Mr. Nex is like this and other science champions aren't is because when he dexes, he gains a precision, right? Every other champion keeps this precision until their next attack but Mr. Negs can get rid of this precision by dashing back and gain a new one by dexing and what the node is doing it's repeatedly trying to nullify that precision and since we can keep on gaining that precision we keep getting passive fury buffs because science attackers gain a passive fury whenever they are immune to nullify. I hope that makes sense if it doesn't I'll put it very simply when you dex, you gain a passive fury with Mr. Negative and that is why he's so strong this meta. Rank 2 Killmonger, Rank 2 Bullseye, Rank 2 Photon, all in under 30 seconds. Now, I did mention the best way to play him this meta. It's kind of like Quake, dexing in the corner and using your evade for damage. But you can play him normally as well. You can use his normal rotation and it's much faster this meta. It's still not as fast as the Quaking method. But you can just play next normally and you will still win most matches. Maestro is a very good opponent for Mr. Next this meta since we gain 5 easy passive furies from Dex in Maestro's SB1. And yeah, we got this rank 3 Maestro down in 40 seconds, which is still very, very fast. That will win you most matches for sure. And the last match is this rank 2 Dust. We're just going to play this normally. You don't like to parry Dust. So I tried to avoid that in this matchup. But we played Mr. Negs normally and used his normal rotation. Slow fight compared to the other fights, but still pretty fast. And he's a very nice counter to Dust because obviously you don't want to parry her. So you get free openings with the evade. But that's it for the video. I hope you all enjoyed the return of Celestial Secrets. Maybe I'll get back to making these a regular thing. I've not decided yet. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, if you found this helpful, I'd appreciate it if you could leave a like and subscribe and I will see you all next video.